Hi, Jim Pollan here. So, ring circuits or radials? This question was uh, asked regularly on my 15 years working on the technical helpline for one of the competent scheme providers. In truth, both are acceptable and it's down to preference. However, I thought it would be interesting to look into the cause and against of which to use. What is the best option? Both circuits are described in Appendix 15 of BS7671 and it should be noted that these are standard circuits for use in household type premises. For ring circuits certain conditions have to be met in addition to the basic design requirements. Sockets should be arranged so that any loads are not located to one end of the ring. Due to the nature of parallel circuits, this would result in overloading of the cable. Cookers, ovens and hobs exceeding 2 kilowatts should be on their own circuits and immersion heaters etc not to be supplied from a ring. Another often stated reason for caution is that a damaged ring circuit where a break in the conductors occurred, the sockets would continue to function with no outward signs of a problem. This situation could remain undetected until an EICR was carried out, maybe in 10 years, if at all. Added to which, again due to parallel circuits, Testing and fault finding tends to be of a more complex nature. Another thing to consider is if adding more than one socket spurred off the ring, this must be fed from a fuse connection unit. Floor areas served by radials are less than a ring. 50 square meters for a 20 amp circuit using 2.5 mil cable. 75 meters squared for a 32 amp 4 mil cable. Other than that, none of the conditions applying to a ring apply to a radial. This is an arrangement using radial circuits for the average home. The kitchen layout would cater for most situations with no requirements for dedicated circuits such as ovens and hobs. So the total number of circuits would be no greater than a couple of ring circuits. It was pointed out that on a ring, an open circuit on the CPC would still be effective in the event of a fault. This can easily be remedied by adopting one of the measures for high integrity protective conductor connections, such as described in Regulation 543.7.2.201 Item 2, Paragraph C To conclude, if for whatever reason the ring circuit didn't enter into the guidance provided by BS7671, what would be the reaction if it was introduced today? Food for thought Hope you found this interesting and as always please leave feedback. Thank you.